Hello and welcome back to another Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. I'm C Survivor and today we are continuing on with the Miss Meet Miss Spirits with I'm day. Shh. One second. One second. Thank you. We've met Miss 2022 with days 3 through 10. It should be 3 through 10. I did 1 through 2 the other day. We've got to go find them. So, let's get ourselves some gear. Get ourselves flying about. Um, I need tools and toys. Where is my gyrocopter? Brain, it's under utility. Spawn you. And away we go. So that was one. That's six, so notes to six. We're doing them in order, so three. Well, that was two, wasn't it? I am remembering my... There's a tie on top of the um, silo. You're two, so we're looking for number three. What are you? You're new. Ooh. Oh! He had launch pads that shoot, shoot you to the train track. Oh, those targets are for shooting from the train! Oh, I love this. I love what you've done, Anton. Anywho. You are... Number... S seven. Oh, there's one. Five. Oh, there's one. Four. Where's three? This wine is getting annoying. Where would three be? That might be three. It's apparently French. Oh, lever action. 1892 in the US of A. 40 by 40. The Mers Lig. It's got a deer on it, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> I was wondering what that was in my peripheral vision then. You take quite a few. So I think that's full. Where's well, those targets? There should be a target up there. Oh, that's got quite a drop. Or I'm... <laughs> Terrible angle. There's some good target shooting. We'll shoot these sausages. Okay, I've still got my lever action skills on me. And I think I might have cleared out all the um, nuisances in the local area. I'll put you up there, keep you safe, just in case if I need to um, nail some more Sussex. Anywho, over here was number, that was number three, so number four. I've seen a little bit of a path generate, okay, okay. So what we got number four? Looks like some cured meat on there. Ooh, two pistols. Quite narrow magazines as well. Single stacks, probably. The AMAG 2 and 5. 50 AE. So I'm going to get you the 50 AE version. And 22 Win Mag. 
I think. I'm just going to double check the round that it spits out. This I'm pretty sure that's 50 AE. 50 Action Express. Yep, 50 Action Express. You. Oh, that. That is definitely Action Express. With not too much kick, surprisingly. Quite like that. And this is the one with the Win Mag, if I remember correctly. 22 Win Mag. I might be mistaken on that. I think it's Winchester Magnum. But don't quote me on that, I think. Definitely a lot more um, control, shall we say. A lot less kick. A lot more practical sidearm. Very nice. And you can see by the put together. They're the same gun, just different scales for different rounds. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So 1987 and 1993. So the Wind Mag came first, I presume. And then six years later, we got the Action Express variant. Away. So that was four. So three. Okay, so I'm seeing that I've dead. Yeah, there's definitely. It looks like it's going to go in like some sort of spiral pattern. What have we got in here? Ooh, odd. That's looking very different. 1949. So post-World War II. Oh, 22 rifle. That is an intriguing little 22. Survival. Oh, that is a very, it's got the World War II vibe of, oh gosh, we need a lot of cheap, decent guns. Like it being really bare bones and just make do. But, oh, I kind of like it. Especially when being classified as survival. Was it a tool that was meant for, well, probably. So I've got a lot of 22s currently. I've already had a 22 rifle. Two in five days. That's very nice. I kind of like it. Very dinky. Very cute. Oh, there was a shot thing down there. Okay. Away! So, I'm pretty sure it's this one. We'll spend some time shooting from the train because I'm in the mood for it. So what's this? Nope, that's seven. We need six. So where is six then? Because that was five. Three, five. Three, four, five. So where is number six? Where is number six? That was number one, wasn't it? I remember correctly. Or is this number six? Yes, it's number six up here. There's too many. I'm losing track of where I am. Oops. I unspawn lock you. Hello, friends. You will make a great test subject. You agree? He's not running away, so he agrees. Ooh. Another bare bones looking gun. 1953. From Belgium. The Vigneron. Vigneron. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Submachine gun, I presume. It's 9x19. Hmm, I wonder... This gives me vibes of a very specific gun. A few guns, actually. A bit of a grease gun, a bit of a... Um, MP40 vibes. Where'd you go? He's ran away. I think he just wants, wants to be hunted. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
Don't know, but there's probably another guy down here. Let's just get a drop on him. That is nice and stable for a night. Nice, stable, good rate of fire. Not too fast that you uh, spend your entire mag in one one click, but good. Very good, and it's definitely yeah, definitely MP45. That dust cover is giving me um, grease gun vibes. And I do like that. Um, oh, it's got a quick, quick mag release. Really, I wouldn't have thought that. I won't say no to it. <laughs> oh, I do like how those bullets jump out. And you. On to our next one. Number seven. Can I make the jump? Just about. Would have lost my legs and all, but hey. <laughs> a sausage in a gravy boat. Ooh. What the... What in unholy names is this? Zip 22... Is this a bullpup 22 long rifle? What? Is this... Wait... Wait, so, ah, oh, this is the one that attaches the, this is a, um, um, attachment variant, so it can attach to other guns, attach to any gun, like the shotguns and the grenade launchers, ooh, you can have that, so how do you cock, let's just pull you off for now, put that in there, so we got, I've saw these drum mag, these mags before. Is this the same? Ma it might be the same twenty-two mag that we got for. There was a bolt action we got recently. In this, that is absurd. So where? Where's safety off? No, that's growing it. Where is the action on this? Where can I? That's gonna be growing the gun. Wait. You just pushed that in. It's not quite a... It's it's, a, it's almost a bullpup. It, it is a bullpup. It's behind, but it's giving me more pistol vibes. Because... How are you meant to hold... How is one holding this? Like... At least got a mag release. I kind of want an illegal variant of this. Or oh, basically a full auto variant. Is there a hidden button that sends it full auto? I say hidden button. Another button like some guns have. That is the weirdest way to action it. And the whole, that whole thing is just... <laughs> Just keeps going. And if we get our little fella over here. Oh, you're clipping in. We put you there. Oh. <laughs> that is absurd. And might be my favourite gun so far. Out of no practicality. Nothing, what is it? Zip 22. It is not practical. It is stupid. And I love it. Of course it's from America. 2020, 2011. Interesting. Okay, so that was seven. So where was eight? One down here. There is, that's nine, I think. No, that's two. Oh, there's seven. That looks like pork chops.
That's nine. Did I just get my numbers mixed up? No, I didn't. The R700. Bolt action rifle, I'm pretty sure. You go there. Be gone. Be gone. Seven, six, two. Ooh. No quick mag release, but that's okay. It is a bolt action. Can I hit the bell? I'm not going to be able to hit the bell with a sight on this. <laughs> what was I even thinking? I can probably hit one of the targets. I think there's a bunch of targets up... Where are they? Up here. Oh, it's gonna be hard, right? Put it on its side. No. No, I didn't hit him. I was expecting to miss that. Can I hit a snowflake? No. Anywho, that's the R700. Probably a bit better of a scope, but hey, it's a bolt action. What can I say? And 762, that's a, quite a beefy round. Not too beefy like. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, 308 Liverpool Magnum or something like that. It's more, and it's quite a common round. It's a NATO round, isn't it? If I remember correctly. It's one of the two NATO rounds they used. Anywho, so that was nine. So there should be ten, if I'm remembering correctly. But I could be mistaken. Two. One. That was seven, so I've skipped eight, haven't I? So where is eight? Because that's nine. That is our two. Huh. I have no idea where it is. The hunt. I would have thought these would have been easier to spot. I do like these target targets, target zones, Tar steel targets with a hanging. So, oh, so what is number eight then? It's not up in the castle, is it? No. Where on earth is it? Ah, there it is. I'm going to check whether 10 was meant to be in this one. I would have thought it was since I went 2. 1, 2. 2 add 7 is 9. I did my math wrong, I should only go up to 9, I'm not looking for 10. Anywho, the CB, CBJMS. Oh wait, in 6.5 CBJ coming soon, ooh. Wait, what? Or does it have two, ma does it have a, 
sperm egg spot and a <laughs> Wait. It's a plunger on the back. Very nice. I think... Nope. Get rid of you. Don't need to. I think more practical would be to have that one. And the rig... That is tight. That seems a little impractical. Maybe it's because it's in the wrong mag. Wrong chamber. Nope. Wrong. Not wrong mag. Wrong caliber. I think I got him. I think I got him. Anywho, that should be everything, yes. If I could do maths, I wouldn't have said 10 at the beginning. Well done. Well done. Anywho. Train. Ah. Oops. <laughs> Served my momentum too much. Up. Oh. Up, I went on the train. All aboard. We got some target shooting. Very nice. Missed it. It's probably dropping off its 9mm. It's quite... Hit it there at least once. On top of the silo. It's decently stable. It's probably that stock and foregrip. And it only being 9mm. I think I got him. Anywho, uh, nobody saw it before. I just need to clean up this evidence. Be gone. All cleaned up. I never murdered that guy. There's no proof. Shh. But anywho. Oh, I do love the sounds of that train. I'm loving it. So, minus my minor inability to count days of the week. Who'd have thought it? I believe that's everything. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. If you've got any comments, questions, drop them in the comments section below. I'll answer it possible. New channel. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon. Links to those are down in the description. Stay well and Survivor out. Cheerio.